¡Qué loco! ¡Qué loco! Hey, our next comedian. You really, really, really have to give me a gritazo. Un gritazo tejano, un gritazo mexicano. This guy has seen, he's been seen all across the nation on milk cartons. <laughs> From Tucson, Arizona, David Men Membrina, yes. Repeat after me. Ah, hijo, you must be Puerto Rican. Chingado, you must have a jalapeno stuck somewhere, bro. So how y'all like the outfit? You like the outfit? How about the hat? How about a round of applause for this hat? Who needs a satellite dish when you got a hat like this, right? You want free HBO, Showtime, and the Playboy Channel? Put a lid. For 50 bucks a month, I will come stand in your yard, give you 30 channels, and mow your grass. I want to state up front that I'm proud to be Mexican Latinos. Are you with me on that? Yeah. And the first thing about being Mexican that I'm always asked is, hey, you know that little Taco Bell Chihuahua? Does that offend you? Yeah. <laughs> I say, no, Taco Bell food offends me, okay? Let's get that shit on the open right now, man. Because I can't believe they use a chihuahua, or for those of you who are bilingually impaired, a chihuahua, to represent Mexicans, man. I mean, I got to say it that way, because for all I know, you might have been outside smoking marijuana. So, I mean. But I'm proud to be Mexican, but a lot of friends say, you know what, man? You weren't born there. You were born here. That makes you like Chicano or Hispanic. So I decided to combine those three words, Mexican, Chicano, and Hispanic. So now, when people ask about my ethnicity, I can tell them, Orale, let me see. Mexican, Chicano, Hispanic. I think that makes me a mechanic. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Just to prove that I'm an actual mariachi. Thank you. I'm going to do some songs for you. My songs are appropriately called Mexican Western songs, which means they're just country songs with a pinchy accent. So. But on a serious note, mariachi music and Mexican music in general is a very emotional music. I remember as a kid, my dad and my tios would be playing guitar, and I'd grab my guitar, I'd come out there and start singing. They'd stop just to watch me. Before I know it, I'd see a tear start to welt up in my dad's eyes. Dad, are you all right? Yeah, me go and What's the matter, Dad? You can't sing with the sh**, me go. Latinos, this is for you. I wish I had some huevos rancheros. It ain't because I'm feeling hungry. Cause if you saw my huevos, though they're handsome little devils, you'd think God had played a dirty joke on me. Hold on, I ain't done yet. Though my little chili's tiny and it may not be too hot, it's a motion of the ocean, it's what you do with what you got. Though little, it's quite pretty, wasn't made in New York City. Help me out here. New York City! But it'll burn your ass if it hits the right spot. <laughs> well, all right. Easter's just right around the corner, and I'm kind of excited about that because as a kid, our Easter was kind of weird. We could never get a, a grip on the Easter terminology as a kid because, like, to us, Lent meant you better return it, you know. Anytime Dad got paid, hell, that was a good Friday. <laughs> Come Sunday, that meant you didn't get lucky Saturday night, you know what I mean? And Passover was how we used to ask for shit at the dinner table. Orale, pass over them beans, homes! Pass over them biscuits! Any uh, Catholics in the house? Those are your alcoholics right there, folks. Those are them. Everybody who's Catholic knows that during Lent you can't have meat on Fridays. And I got a, a friend of mine who's a father, who's a priest, and I went to his house on a Friday during Lent, he was having spaghetti and meatballs. I said, Father, you can't have that, man. You can't have spaghetti and meatballs. It's okay, he said. I blessed them. They're fish balls now. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, have you all heard services come out with a commemorative Jerry Garcia Grateful Dead stamp? Have you heard about this? Jerry Garcia, the Grateful Dead on the stand. You don't want to lick the back of that sucker, though, no. That's Jerry Garcia, man. 
Oh, man, I love being a comic. You get to tour all over the place. I just came back from the East Coast. I had steamed crabs for the first time, but I think it was just the sweat and humidity made a mitch like that. I'd... <laughs> Boy, were they pissed off. But you get to tour all over. I get to visit a lot of cities. My favorite city is probably El Paso. Anybody from El Paso? Orale, we're going to talk about you suckers for a while, man. <laughs> Because in, in El Paso, everything is Mexicanized, man. I went to a Chinese-Mexican restaurant called Chinga Su's. What's up with that, man? Right there in the corner of Orale and Apurate Way, you know. It was bad, man. You know what's Mexicanized when you go in there, you know, McDonald's, and you see Mac Menudo on the menu, man? Their, their shake flavors were like chocolate, vanilla, and taquito flavor, man. But I love Texas, especially. I'm from Tucson, you know, so I really love just touring. I grew up in a tough neighborhood in Tucson. Now, my neighborhood is so tough, the local YMCA stood for your mama's a crack addict. <laughs> you know, most churches are sponsored like an Alcoholics Anonymous. Our sponsored Alcoholics are all of us, man. Was... <laughs> Those, the priests were party animals. Now, remember that bottle of sacrificial wine? The priest at our church, there's had a worm at the bottom. What's up with that, man? Ah, tough neighborhood. Uh, round of applause. Any of y'all have kids out there? Yeah. Really? I got a four-year-old I'm still trying to potty train. It was working out pretty well because I was giving her like an M&M or a Skittle every time she used a toilet. Now we can't get out of a peachy candy store without her pissing all over the place. It's... <laughs> oh, but I'm dating now, and I, I, I'm, I wrote this girl a song. In fact, she's sitting over here on the end. I'm going to sing it for her. Very lovely song. Uh, Hope I get laid tonight. <laughs> oh, I could hide between her thighs. Watch my meatloaf get a rise. She says she's giving me a big surprise. Guess I'll just take a peek and see what she's offering to me. How was I to know she'd be another guy? <laughs> you say your name's Eugene. Oh, it's so obscene. What I thought was a beaver's just a big smelly thing. You say your name's Eugene, no, what can it mean? Now I'm a tight end receiver for a homecoming queen. Thanks a lot, ladies and gentlemen, that's my time. Thank you.